Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. So today I'm going to bring you an unboxing of something that I think is really cool, not only because of the technology itself, but honestly because of the box. This is one of the coolest boxes I've ever seen. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a brief overview of the Intel Core i9 9900K processor. The processor is supposed to be amazing and well the box is pretty amazing too so you guys have probably seen benchmarks and everything and I'm going to bring you guys a bunch of new benchmarks but have you ever seen an unboxing of it? So I'm going to bring that to you guys today so come over here real quick and as I'm doing the unboxing I'm going to talk you through all the features, specifications and all that good stuff. Check it out. All right, so here she is again, the Intel Core i9-9900K, built off of Intel's latest 14 nanometer manufacturing process, and eight cores, 16 threads. Now, that may or may not be exciting to you, but it has a base frequency of 3.6 gigahertz and a max turbo frequency of five gigahertz, so that's pretty nice. So, you guys might have seen an unboxing, if not, you just saw the plain old processor and maybe just a picture of the box. But up close, so right here, you know, I've just printed. Then along the sides, you actually see the processor kind of floating in thin air there. Core i9, right over there, or, well, yeah, right there. And then on this side, you can see Intel, and then you can see the chip just laying inside of that box kind of suspended in thin air so you could see completely see-through down here and then up here as well pretty awesome so let's see I've never attempted to open it just yet let's see if I could figure it out okay so they got some tape along the bottom but so on the back Intel is constantly in pursuit of a conflict-free supply chain talk about all that stuff here contents and the processor and all that good stuff, all their certifications. And then along the bottom, we have the UPC serial number and all that good stuff. And then the front, well, we could see that. And along the top, Intel. So this is not just, a, in my opinion at least, not just a box you're going to throw away. I'm going to put this on the shelf. So, And I forgot my knife, so hopefully I don't break it. Let me grab a knife real quick. All right. Okay, so it's feels like it's magnetically tied here. Mag magnets in here just so if I hold it here kind of just stays there. So magnets keep it closed. Then it kind of just completely unravels so into a cube here anyway if you're not interested in that you're interested in this so then we have another seal here which comes off relatively easily and let's see <laughs> how do we open this oh and another seal over here this is such a cool box such a geek. All right, so let's see if there's any more seals. It's staying pretty sealed. You gotta fit a fingernail in there, I guess. And then this kind of sort of lifts off. That was incredibly complicated to open up. So then we have right in here the processor. So sweet. Again, you know, it's kind of like Easter. You're hunting for this egg and you finally found it. You open it up and you find this. So, all right. So again, Intel Core i9 9th Gen unlocked, hence the K. Nothing down here. Just gonna put this aside for right now. They have their little foam over here. I'm gonna remove this. Then we have Intel Core i9 
installation instructions, three year limited warranty, Intel inside logo label, so they have a case badge in here. See back panel, here's your case badge, all that good stuff. So let me grab the knife again, open it up. And I am going to, this is going to be in the darkest light build that I'll be doing very soon. And I'm going to show you guys how to install this if you don't know how to install a processor. Uh, processors intended to be professionally installed, take proper electrostatic discharge, ESD precautions, all that good stuff. Then they show you some pictures on how to do it. Put it in there, close it, then and nothing else really. So then again, the back has the case badge right there. And well, we have the processor itself. Okay, handle it very carefully. You don't want to touch the bottom here with your fingertips. The grease, oils, and all that stuff in your fingertips are going to cause this not to make great contact with your board. So you could lose some performance or may not even work depending what you have on your fingertips. Have some peanut butter and you I didn't touch it. <laughs> but anyway, and then here is the processor itself. Let's see if I can, there we go, that looks beautiful. All right, and I almost forgot to mention this bad boy has 16 megs of smart cache and a TDP of 95 watts with a max memory supported of 128 gigs. That's pretty awesome, especially for a desktop processor. Supports dual channel memory with a max memory bandwidth of 41.6 gigabytes per second, as well as onboard graphics or the processor graphics, UHD graphics, the 630, which is a has a brace frequency of 350 megahertz, as well as a max dynamic frequency of 1.2 gigahertz or 1.20 gigahertz. It supports up to 64 gigs of memory, which will be shared with your system RAM and supports 4K at 60 hertz. So it supports onboard a max HDMI 1.4 resolution of 4096 by 2304 at 24 hertz, a max DPI resolution of 4096 by 2304 at 60 hertz, and then DirectX 12 support, and a max of 16 lanes. So not the greatest there on the desk side support for 16 lanes, but it is what it is, and well, get used to it. So anyway, not much really to an unboxing of a processor. It, it literally is just a processor but I had to show you guys that because I'm in love with that box but anyway um, again this is going to be featured in the darkest light build I've already done a few unboxings which I'll go ahead and uh, link up in this video and uh, if you guys have any questions on this definitely comment below in the comments I'll be more than happy to answer any of those questions but you'll see more of this coming soon Iggy out see you guys